Good evening. Welcome to Vintage Key Studio. My name is Fatty Fatty Fat 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 Fat. Today I'm going to be showing you the Yamaha C55 Electone Organ. The Yamaha C55 Electone Organ was in amongst a vast variety of different models made around the late 70s by Yamaha and they all sound fairly alike but they've just got the, the, the more expensive ones obviously had more functions in them. This one I'm pretty convinced is probably on the upper end of the uh, the price bracket when they came out because this one's got quite a lot of um, interactive rhythms and things in it and you can do quite a lot with the, the sounds. The reason why I bought this one from a charity shop a few months ago was because I used to have one a long time ago and I'd always had a fondness for the specials. Jerry Dammers, the organ player, um, but in the specials he used a the Yamaha Electone organ on tour, I've seen, and also on top of the Pops once as well, but when they were doing um, This Town is Coming Like a Ghost Town. There's a bit of discrepancy as to which model he used, but they're all pretty similar. They've all got the same sounds on. Just as I said, some are some are better than others. So this one, uh, it's got the normal kind of, or well not normal, but it's got organ tones up here. So let's just start from over here. So this thing has got the um, upper ensemble. And if I just play you what it's set to at the moment, it's okay so if I just put that all down there so you've got you've got your, your flutes flutes a 16 inch sorry 16 foot and Got a bit of uh, trombone there, clarinet, mustn't touch that one. reason why we mustn't touch this one is um, in this particular model it does this now you may have noticed that as I was switching tones between there it, they weren't just switches they were actually sort of little faders and it's more like um, a draw bar idea but they're like mini faders So like they're, they're cross, crosses between faders and switches in that they look like switches but they act like faders and um, as you can hear there's there's quite a, 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 a plethora of different tones you can get and there's an attack length as well um, which I think I think that's the that's what is known as the percussion on like a Hammond. So without it. So that's very similar to the percussion. You can get a very Hammondy. Speaking of the specials again, um, although they did use one of these on they used it on their second album more specials and on the on ghost town and a few of their singles um they apparently used a hammond organ on their on, on ghost town for the you know the um that kind of stuff going on um and the 
the one noise they did, or the one sound they did use on here, was this one, which is the um, custom voice clarinet. Too much fighting on the dance floor. But anyway, let's get back to showing you the sound. So we've, so we've got all that there, so that's all very nice. Oh, hang on. Uh, where's it gone? There it is. The reason why the wah brass isn't working is because a few things was, a few things was wrong with this when I got it. Firstly, the, the, uh, the whole organ was going drifting in and out of tune, so I replaced the transistors in the master oscillator and also in the vibrato circuit and that sorted that out and then after I'd done that I realized that the wah brass button didn't work at all and it just makes loads of popping sounds um, but after unscrewing everything and then putting it all back together again and then finding that that didn't work I just couldn't be bothered so the wah brass sound is out but there's no problem because in the lower keyboard, you've also got a rhythmic wah sound. So here we are with the lower keyboard. So that one there, the green one. Um, you've also got some, some lovely stringy sounds. fan of adult movies of the 70s you might recognize some of these sounds as they were no doubt used to fuel your fantasies <laughs> works on all of the the organ so so it's got the, the speed of the vibrato there and then, then the depth of it um, hang on, just. and then there's a delay between when it it comes in as well so you can put that on so it's let's just put on a straight sound Okay, so that's, right, that's the straightforward sound. And okay, so that's quite useful. You might be able to hear, pick up on the speakers, you can hear a, a sort of a screaming sound in the background. Um, that's just a bit of um, snaky noise coming from the, the oscillators in there. Um, I always like to hear a bit of that in, in uh, old organs like this. Uh, usually they, that can be remedied by putting a, a, um, a shielding plate or piece of cardboard with foil on or something. Or other. They usually put that over the, the circuitry and there, there is those inside here as well, attached to ground. And it helps to shield all the snaky noise going on a little bit. If you take it all off, it just goes... So... There's all, yes, there's also there's the bass pedals, which are very good. Got a nice 16-foot bass pedal there. 8-foot, um, which is an octave above it. And then a 16-foot tuba. And a bass guitar. There's a symphonic chorus effect on here as well, which is over here on the left hand side. Um, so you've got and
Uh, and then you've got one for the lower organ as well, the lower manual. Which is okay. Um, but I quite like this. Uh, it's got its own Leslie speaker built in, uh, which they call tremolo. At the moment, it's set to the upper flute sound. One quite interesting thing that this organ does is that you can actually adjust the rate of the fast Leslie sound. So you can hear there, it's doing that, and then you can increase it a little bit. So the motor goes a bit faster, or slows down a little bit. But it's still on the fast, and then it slows down completely. So that's quite unusual, I've not seen that before on other ones. And then you can also, if you've got the orchestra settings, which are these these ones here, um, you can have them rooted to the, the Leslie sound as well. Similarly with the, the, bo the bottom ones. So that's quite nice. And you've also got um, a... Uh, upper slow attack button so and then there's the upper sustain which is quite useful as well or so you've got long or short sustain There's a silly foot switch, which uh, which is that acts as the glide between um, semitones there, or a rhythm stop switch, which will trigger. So if I I just press the the rhythm on, and then with my foot I will kick it off. That's if your left hand really loves rhythm and your right foot hates it. You can kind of have a fight with yourself. I forgot to mention that there's um, there's combination one and combination two here on the upper keyboard, which is just like a two cr sort of crummy presets they've got, and then that one. So that's the the basic idea, and then then here you've got the special presets. Um, this one. Uh, but I rather like these ones, so they sometimes need a bit of a, a, a pressing in because the, the, the switches are a bit um, tarnished, but I've cleaned them all off. So. Okay, so here we go. So mandolin, banjo. sound um, is definitely you can definitely hear that on the specials more specials um, record um, in uh, stereotypes uh, and then piano okay and then for the custom voices I, I showed you the clarinet just now the ghost down clarinet It could have been, or trumpet or trombone, trombone, or the piccolo.
You can switch between the special presets so they're either up or upper keyboard or lower keyboard. So here. Or. Um, and then you can obviously combine them as well. So you've got the upper ensemble, custom voices and special presets all at once. Remembering that uh, the custom voices are a mono monophonic sound, so oh yeah, we've also got reverb there. Um, which doesn't work very well, and then we've got the. Uh, interesting rhythm section. So here is the uh, the fatty, fatty, fat, fat, fat pig rhythm. Fatty, fatty, fat, fat, fat pig. Fatty, fatty, fat, fat, fat pig. It's the usual sort of cheesy organ things. There's, there's a tempo there, but you can. You can combine them. I'm not sure how many you can combine at once. starts uh, when you start you realize that you can then remember what you you've you've pressed so if I play, play uh, uh, an a7 chord I'll just keep playing that and then A single finger chord is the is the one that um, if you just play one note, it will play a major triad. Um, I'm not sure if it, how it does minors. Maybe it doesn't do minors. Probably does. But anyway, to, to do a major or minor with a, with a fingered chord, you can just do that. Or, and then custom A B C.
a tune of mine called Hey Look, That's My Dentist. If you join our members area, you get access to all sorts of, uh, shit. No, in the members area, every month, there is a brand new, uh, ma- sort of a, a monthly magazine. And it will have a few um, tracks, either things that we've included in videos, uh, usually the full-length versions of those, or some other stuff, or a mixture of both. A stuff from the vaults from years ago, uh, things that interesting people come and record here. Sometimes they might want to, you know, let you all hear some stuff. So in the members area, there's there's that, and there's also a detailed description of each recording that I upload there as well. So you'll be able to um, have a listen to it and think, wonder how they did that, and then you'll be able to read it, and then you'll be able to go. Mm. That tune I just played, the dentist one, uh, I didn't record on one of these. If you happen, happen to hear it, it's actually from my album Children's Television Themes from a Parallel Dimension. And that uh, record has um, several thousand themes on it, all, well, no, 30 or 40 themes uh, that uh, are very, very closely based on 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s uh, TV themes, but but they're not actually the, the ones, they're sort of a pastiche. Um, and uh, I was a bit crazy when I did that. Anyway, I'm okay now. Um, the, the, so, so the... I originally did that on, um, on a, a Roland workstation thing with some sort of wah effect on a piano. So I played a piano on that, so it wasn't on one of these at all. Um, but I was quite surprised when I was messing around on this the other day that I found that sound on here and it's almost as if I'd recorded it on one of these. Um, so thank you very much, Rhythmic Wah, and thank you very much, Yamaha. And thank you, the listeners. And hopefully, if anyone um, has uh, joined, you'll find out that you're now called a vintage key master. So the key masters, hello to you. And hello to the people on Patreon as well who've, who've been supporting us. Um, we've got some... Uh, uh, other things to say. I'm unbelievably tired. 